Don't push yourself too hard, dear. You can always come home. Go for it, Danny. Hey, well, man. Surprise, it's a bonus episode. So Booger defeated the Elite Four and the Champion last night. And I haven't picked up the game since then. And I just wanted to take a look around Hoenn and see what has changed, if anything. If anybody treats us differently. I don't know, after we uh, established ourselves as the dominant trainer in all the land. Okay, well, this is weird. When we saw the credits roll, and then it was the end, and then we went back to the start, we were in the Pokemon League, Evergrande, and now we're way across Hoenn. We just woke up way across Hoenn, back in our room in Little Root, I guess. And it appears we have no memory of how we got here. We just woke up in front of our TV, not even in our bed. I think Mr. Stone and or Steven had something to do with us. Hmm. Do I have decorations? I have a doll. Ugh. Lotad doll. I wish I could sell it. You know, I've never been a fan of the orange GameCube color. I like the black, I like the indigo, I like the platinum silver, which is what I've had ever since I was a kid. But the orange, no. I can't do that. At least I have a GameCube, though. I'll take a GameCube over no GameCube. Which is what I'm playing this on right now. That same console that I've had for 20 years. Oh man, it's dad and mom. Okay. Didn't expect to see them. Maybe I should have. Hmm? Oi, Spugger. It's been a while since I saw you. But you look stronger, somehow. That's the impression I get. But your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes. I have something for you. I uh, just came from, uh, uh, came to you from someone named uh, Mr. Barney. Why are you reeling? A ticket from Mr. Briney. He called me while I was on a boat ride with Mr. Briney earlier in the game. I remember that. And now he's giving me a ticket from Mr. Briney. There's just something weird about this. Hmm, a uh, ticket for a ferry? I should call their uh, ferry ports in Shreveport and uh, Ludicolf. Oh, it's Mom. Oh, I'd better get back to Battle Pocket Gym. Mom, make sure I can have the house while I'm away. You irresponsible asshole, you never stay long enough. That dad of yours, he comes here. For the first time in a while, but only talks about this Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. Is that a breaking news story? A bzz colored Pokemon in flight. What? Booker, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? 
He didn't say anything about the color, Mom. Are you delusional? I feel like... I feel like I'm crossing the bridge in Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Choosing between two answers that could... My life could hinge on. Let's go for the calmer color. Hopefully that calms her. Well, isn't that something? The lost and unknown Pokemon. Yes, Mother. There are. Don't push yourself too hard, dear. You can always come home. Go for it, Danny. I will, Mom. You know, I do have to say I'm lucky to have such a supportive mom. I appreciate having supportive parents, you know, that's priceless. But Dad's still kind of a douchebag. He doesn't Oh, who the Right when I walk out my door. These assholes. Well well. Booger. That was good work out there. I knew there was something special about ya when I first saw ya. But I never expected this. Oh yes, did you still have the Pokedex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. Now... Booger and Brendan. I've had the two of you help me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in the Hoenn region there are also Pokemon from other regions. Goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokedex. To the national mode. Here. Yeah. Let me see your Pokedex units. I just... I didn't want to see you again, Birch. Or you, Brendan. I went all over Hawaiian and checked out Pokemon. You can thank me for getting the National Mod Pokedex. Yep, you're lucky, Booger. Fuck you, Brendan. Shut up. Okay, all done. Please tell me that's all. But listen, you've become the champion. But your Pokemon journey isn't over. There's no end of the road to this Pokemon. Somewhere there's a grassy patch that's waiting for you. What does that mean? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me, Birch? Is he threatening to leave me dead in a grassy patch? For the time being, I'm taking a break from field work. I'll be helping out the here for a while. You stay here with this guy. You are a good fit for each other. Okay, same thing. Alright. It appears I'm free now. Oh, holy shit! Who is this? Who is this? How did you get this number? What the fuck? Scott? I thought I was being prank called. I thought someone just called and hung up. Hey, hi, Booga. It's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS Tidal now. It feels great to be under the sea. By the way, there's this place I'd like to invite you to for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet. I'll be waiting. Well, that's something that couldn't happen in Sapphire because Scott um, was not one of our stalkers in that version. They added 
they added him to this one to follow you around. In addition to the other people who also follow you around, there are multiple. Well... I guess we ought to just fly to one of those port towns. Let's go to Slateport. That's a town Booger's more fond of, because we have more memories of sacking that town a lot more than we did in Lily Cove. Ah, uh, our multiple sackings of Slateport. Good times. <laughs> I, I remember Sea Distic. When Treevenge was a Sea Distic, making earthquakes on the beach. Good times. All right. Sure is nice to walk around Hoenn without being threatened by anybody. No one will oppose us. Treevenge's reign of terror that can technically begin today. Like, this is day one of its reign of terror. Its dream has finally come true. See? You can achieve your dreams. Treevenge did it. It's defeated every... Every one who would stand in its way and now it's ready to unleash its revenge on all of this land. Oh, come on. Look at that boat. You know, it looks about the size of the abandoned ship. Just less full of holes. Mr. Briny? Is Briny an engineer? Well, guess we'll have to check it out. Scott said he'd meet us somewhere. Is he meeting us on board the boat? That's right, and quiver in fear while you're at it, because Booger's champion and Trevenge has issues, and is not to be trifled with. I guess we just have to take a trip to Lily Cove. Now look, we are meeting someone on the ship. It's Scott. I don't think I saw inside this ship in Sapphire. If I even ever used this ship much. Well, hi, hi. Booga, booga. Something's come up, so I have to disembark. But I am glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken with the ship's captain about this. The next time you take a ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Booga. I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Another in, another unhinged person, following Booger around. Plow through fast running currents? Don't tell me that shit! Now we're gonna freak out and think we're dying. The ship's going down. It's gonna be another abandoned ship between Slateboard and Lily Cove. Now we see what happened to the first one. I can't enjoy it. Now I'm freaked out we're gonna crash and shipwreck. Oh, we get to explore the ship? Oh, this brings back memories of SSN and the first Pokemon games. <laughs> Will there be fights? Do we get to fight people? Tell me we get to fight people. Let's see. Let's see if any would dare. Any pockets of resistance would dare. Look, there are still resistances. People who would dare stand in Booger and Trevenge's way. Oh, you'll show me lovey-dovey power. Booker specializes in breaking up young couples. Every young couple she double battles always separates shortly afterwards. We have a way of unraveling the Pokemon of couples one by one such that the other trainer, who is one of the people in the relationship, sees that 
their partner's Pokemon died first, and then an argument starts. Oh no! Why, why can't your Pokemon last as long as mine, honey? Oh no! And then it goes from there. We plant the seeds. You know, it's an art. We plant the seeds of destroying relationships. See? I've just planted an inferiority complex in one of their love discs. And the trainer who owns it. Excellent. And of course, it's best to just get rid of these little discs of death that infest the seas of Hoenn. Really is one of the scourges of the sea. Love discs are worse than tentacle. They're not as numerous, but they make up for that by being vicious little bastards. Like, think piranhas, but if a piranha can act alone, or in a very small group, they're that vicious. And they can do other things, nasty things, too. That's right. I don't think of his, you know, both of your lovey-dovey power that failed. I think what happened here actually was only one of you really had their lovey-dovey power fail. And, uh, maybe you should consider that. Think about who's the dead weight here. You two. Have fun. Have a fun boat ride. Bye. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, booger. She's so good at tormenting people. Oh, look! A room we can rest in. Oh, what the fuck? No, we're not done. You can't- you can't take us off the ship yet. No one leaves until Booger has put down all resistance. We must have full surrender of everybody aboard the ship. The reign of terror has come. The sh ship is the last pocket of resistance. The champion has arrived. The ruler of this land has arrived. I will entertain you. With your absolute destruction. We will subdue your Azumarill. It will be dispatched with new mercy. Sinfin likes crunching Azumarills. Like, none of this can stand in our way after what we've experienced. The Elite Four, the Champion... These trainers are weak compared to them. I didn't expect this, though. I didn't think I would have more trainer fights. It's kind of a nice surprise. Skull Bash? I think that's a move I don't want, because... Might have a hundred power, but it takes a turn to charge up like Solar Beam. It's not worth it when you can just use strength twice and get the equivalent of 160 power in two turns. Sinfin has no moral compass, but it does take care of its head. It takes head injuries seriously. Yeah, a yacht for you and your Pokemon. What a loser. Loser rich kid. Who has money but no Pokemon skill. Look at this old guy. Look at this old guy being a hermit in his room back here in the corner. Let's give him Bake Snake. friends are strong. You'll find out. Micah. With a man trick. I think I can handle that. Poison tail.
Nice. We must be about evenly matched in speed if we trade off the first hits. Now, who are you gonna bring out? Your funeral. Bye bye. You're too slow, Minetric. Don't care, we can heal that. Another one. Whack that man trick. It's a little boring when someone just has two of the same Pokemon. Like, come on. Have originality. If you're only gonna have two Pokemon, at least have two different Pokemon. Your man trick will be picking those needles out for days. He gave us a lot of money. That's nice. He can be friends with non-human beings. That's nice. <laughs> hey, look! It's Briny! We can tell just because of the wingle next to him. What's up, Briny? Welcome aboard, Bugar. They made me honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, let me just say it stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Ah. That's cool. We didn't get to see any such development for Briny and Sapphire. So basically, he started... Well, maybe he was like an exile on his little personal boat. Staying in the little sea cottage by the coast. But then he like came back to ship engineering. And like they made him captain of a ship. I'm guessing that's what happened. Contests. I have tried contests in Sapphire. My judgment after doing a few contests was that it just wasn't as fun as Pokemon battling. Like, you can't beat beating up other people's Pokemon. Showing off moves is never going to be as fun as just beating up other people's Pokemon. It just can't be. Watch. I'm gonna poison tail this skitty, and it's just gonna die in one hit. Look how fun. If there was no weak skitty to just obliterate like that, then you're missing like half the fun. You're using the Pokemon moves, but you're not using them on enemies. And making them pay. Inflicting torture and despair. Pokemon. Seriously. You asshole, you just have six skitty. This one's level 40. Did you like adopt a bunch of skitty from the alley? Did you find all these skitty on the street? Is that why they're just a weird collage of different levels? Where'd you get the skitty? I don't trust this guy. Two of the same Pokemon? Okay. Three of the same Pokemon or more? There's some kind of operation at work. <laughs> or... This guy is like an illegal skitty breeder or something. He keeps them in probably huge warehouses. Cages and cages of them. Kept in inhumane conditions and sold. Look, level 12, level 40. Who knows where he's gotten these? Who knows where they came from? Another one! Five skitties. You don't catch five skitties unless you're up to something nefarious. Weird guy on a ship. Think about this. 
He's traveling across the sea with five skitties and a Delcati. I guess the Delcati keeps the skitties in order. He's up to something. This guy is so up to something and we smell it. Just like we smelled the corruption in Marvel. We can sense these things. But who's watching you? Oka fan. Oka fan Colton. It was an informing match. We learned something by the many Pokemon you sent out that were all the same type, I think. Contests. Connected to contests and taking a whole bunch of skitty across the sea. He's probably selling those skitty to people who want to enter contests. Think about it. People think, oh, skitty's cute. It'll win contests. So he just goes and collects all the skitty he can find. Who knows where he got him? I just stole some. And he sells him off. I think there's a contest hall in Lily Cove. Yeah. And one in Slateport. Yeah. We figured him out. Figured you out, dude. Tea? I'm actually sipping coffee at the moment. I'm good. Lady Naomi. Oh, Roselia! Look at this! Oh, that's just perfect. You gave Bake Snake its favorite strain. Light up, Bake Snake. Roll the Roselia joint. Light that shit up. We can get even more hits off it now. One, two. And three. That was just the pick me up big snake needed. Thank you. Didn't know if we'd find any of that stuff out at sea. Yes, Big Snake is an active user. You get it. You found out. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a whole nother floor after I clear this one. This old guy throw away anything expensive? Nope. Wow. I might just heal that paralysis on Sidpin. Other than that, we're good. Have a cookie, Sidpin. No, we don't knock. We're the... This is the champion. I don't knock. You bow. You bow when I enter. You insolent old man. Know your place. You are a peasant in the new world of Tree Vengeance Design. Zangus! I've been waiting. We've been waiting for the day when we would fight another Zangus. Fuck yes. I am going to enjoy this. Uh, we still remember the last Zangus which took us down. Give it the fangs, give it the tail. Critical hit. Critical hit with poison tail, that's when it impales the opponent with the poison tail. Like, not just a slashing motion, but a stab. Impalement. Big Snake impaled that Zangoose and it is now dead. Did not faint, it died. Excellent. Big Snake finally took a revenge for the last one that defeated it. Uh, 
so happy about that. I'm pretty sure you got ruffled when your Zangoose got impaled by a poison tail. What did you give us? Huh. Okay. I don't think we'll use Snatch, but whatever. Ooh. A lower level. Let's leave Bake Sneak out. Surprise! Aha. Uh -huh. We've encountered the crew on the lower decks. Clean in the bilges. Big Snake isn't a good option for this, but maybe you can paralyze it, at least. There we go. And we'll put Tree Vengeance and Extra Sensory it. I guess we... well, we could have pin missiled it, but... Rakdos no longer has that move. Replaced it with Sandstorm. Which is ultimately more useful, I think. That... that strategy of using Sandstorm in Sandville, I think, really made a huge difference as we defeated the Pokémon League. I suspect it could have been a lot harder if, say, Wactus was just a little too low level to have learned that move during the challenge. But it was, and it learned it, and it used it quite well. I leveled up my Pokémon a lot to take them on, because I didn't want to underestimate them. We underestimated Brawly and Maxi in the past, and didn't want to underestimate the trainers who were supposed to be the strongest at the end of the game. Extra Sensory is such a great move. I'm happy I learned that. 80 power psychic move. It can flinch. It's amazing. Super useful. It's like Psychic almost in power, and it flinches. Oh, that's depressing. These two guys have been down here cleaning the ship too long. They need a career they need a career change. But it's cool that we can come down here and battle them. I like this. It appears it's just the upper level main cabin passenger area and this lower area. No, like, outdoor decks like the SSAN had. I guess this ship is just not quite in that class. You're still too slow, Machop. Your Machop was Machopped in half by a poison tail. Poisoned a sword for a tail. A Pelipper? Oh, I have a, I have a surprise for your Pelipper, from the Pelipper from Hell, Helican. You won't see this coming, and it's going to hurt. Let your Pelipper know its place. It's struck by a lethal bolt of lightning. Pelican tolerates no usurpers. It's pretty chill most of the time, just bashful nature, but Pelican does not tolerate 
other Pelipper who would challenge its dominance. Machoke. Just uh, leave Helicon in. Gotta say, I'm really pleased with all the Pokemon that I chose to use in this Emerald playthrough. And they were all new. Like, the only one I could say maybe isn't new is Snow Run, but I never, like, evolved one into a Glalie and used it long term in the past, so. You know, it was basically new too. And this Pelipper proved itself to be amazingly useful. Quite competent. They both say the exact same thing. Thought some people would hide something in these garbage cans. Something they're trying to dispose of. Leftovers. That could be a useful item in battle, I guess. Okay. Well, no leaks spraying down here yet. Cool. I guess we're done then. Nice little, nice little detour to take down some restless trainers on a ship. Well, let's go uh, check out this new place. The Battle Frontier. This is new for Emerald. There was no Battle Frontier in Sapphire. Look at this. Well, what sort of place is it? Is it on a map? Oh, it is. Look at that. It's some remote island far to the south that nobody can surf to. There are probably just inaccessible rocks and currents separating it. it. Takes a special boat that can navigate them. Ribbons? Isn't this new? Oh, I guess that appears once you beat, once you enter the Hall of Fame, once, and then I guess you can get more ribbons if you do it again, beat them again. I might do that at some point on my own time off recording. Has anybody else become ripe for a rematch? This person. Just checking. Love the Safari Zone. I never checked out the Safari Zone. I think it's supposed to be a little expanded in this game. Just that one. No gym leaders want to fight again. Oh well. Let's look at this strange place. Hmm. What is this place? Frontier Pass. What is this pass for? What does it grant me? What privilege? Privileges. Who is that? Oh, it's Scott. Is he like in charge of this operation? Is this. Is he some rich guy who owns this island? It's great to see you here. It really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience the, the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have time. 
What is this game you play, Scott? What do you want from Booger? You know Booger's power, what do you want? He probably wants to associate himself with Booger, get in Booger's good graces, since he knows Booger and her Pokemon will now dominate all, you know, over all life, you know when. Like Sauron. Huh. Look at all these facilities. I don't know if I'll read all this, but let's hear about one at least. If this is anything like the battle tent stuff, then I'm guessing I wouldn't even be able to use my own Pokemon. I'd use, like, rentals in these things. And that doesn't excite me that much. I want to use my own Pokemon in all battling I ever do. That's why I catch and raise my own Pokemon and put so much loving care and effort into spoiling them and making them strong. So, she's got really shallow info. She says what the building looks like and then says what happens there in one sentence without explaining much. Symbols? So it's like, just, just, they're like a cheap version of badges. They can't call themselves badges because it'd probably be a legal problem. With all the gems in Hoenn, they would sue them. You guys don't explain what the Battle Frontier offers very well. Okay, let's hear about this. This guy probably has the useful info. Let's hear this. Huh. Maybe you do use your own Pokemon here. Hmm. Didn't really answer my questions about, you know, whether your own Pokemon persists participate or if it's rentals. They should offer basic info like that. Hmm. Oh, he can make challenges with no Pokemon? Does that mean you do not use your own Pokemon, in fact? Hmm. What'd you say? So, rent strong Pokemon. Hmm. It does make you wonder who is raising them. I don't trust this place. I don't trust Scott. On account of him stalking Booger everywhere. Guy's got a hangover. There's always somebody in every Pokemon town with a hangover. There's one. I'm a little scared too. What is this place? Why does the floor look so weird? What's with the blue tile? And why are there four identical looking nerds? Frontier Maniac? These guys are weird. I think this is a cult. This is like a cult starting up right here. These are the first charter members of the cult. They all dress the same. 
gathered in a weird place. This person's freaked out. She smells something isn't right. Let's get out of here. An isolated island. Perfect place for a cult to start. And expand its influence. There are many cults in Huen. This we know. We've encountered them. Mimicking cults. Nature cults that worship the land or the sea. Don't even need to talk about all the people in, you know, on Mount Pyre, hanging out there. Respects and fears to revenge, as he should. The old man must have seen TV broadcasts about Booker's antics. Or he's old. Or, or he's just senile and tells everybody good things about their Pokemon. Who enters that house? Sounds like that may be the case. Based on those two. She was a gym leader. Where? You know, might be some senile old lady who thinks she was a gym leader, when she wasn't. A weirdo. Weird name for them. Brains. So many houses with people in them that have kind of nothing to say. Alright, let's see if you know what Trevenge is saying. This will be good. It does like to battle. It likes to destroy all who stand in its way. And yeah, it battles if it has a lot of ouchies. She understands true revenge. Good. That little boy's a stalker in the making. That's a uh, future Mr. Stoner Steven right there. He's already got a target he's following. How cute. Zigzagoon looks vacant. Did you give it drugs? He gave it edibles. He gave it edibles. That's why it's vacant. You may have overdosed it, dude. Your zigzagoon is like about to go into an it's about to go into a coma here. <laughs> How dare you insult bugger? Lord of this island and all else in Huen. This is the Battle Palace. I do like the design of this building. It's intricate. It does look like a palace. Let's just walk in and see what's going on. It's got weird music. I haven't heard this music in any Gen 3 Pokemon game. Mm hmm. Odd. Yeah, 
Interesting. Everybody here is so talkative. But they don't have much interesting to say. Hey, move aside, damn it. Move out of the fucking way. You'll pay for your insolence later. For impeding our way. Special abilities. A bigger objective. What is Scott plotting? He brought this guy here and me too. Suspicious. This place is massive. Sprawling. Exchange battle points? Like a game corner? Drugs, steroids, and that one. Oh wow, a lot of uh, kind of rare hold items. Mental herb. Nice, they have a little dispensary here too. At that table. Hmm. Old school. Gen 1 Pokemon dolls. Don't you have any current Gen 3 dolls of Hoenn Pokemon? What's with all the smoochum stuff? Why do you have only lame Pokemon merchandise? None of my Pokemon are represented. They're all lame. Ugh. Parents and children. What does he say? The dolls suck. Come on, dude. Have standards. At least demand dolls of cool Pokemon. Still, you fuck. What a loser. Mimi doesn't like you. I'm guessing. Back to the pyramid. Strange. Who built this thing? And when? Wandering in darkness and utter and total desperation? This is the place where you do that? There is a lot to see here. Man among men? What, what the hell, man? You're just really high. Probably. Making up legends on the spot. What? TMI. Okay, we did a loop. I think I might just like go into one of these buildings at least. Odd tree. <gasps> Holy shit! It's a pseudo wudo. I've recognized that anywhere. Same sprite from Pokemon Silver when I played that years ago. I must need to use some item that. Yep. I'll bet I use that on it to get it to attack, and then I could catch a pseudo wudo. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave this pseudo widow in peace. 
because it's in this little corner by the waterfall. It clearly just wants to get away from it all. This old lady's trying to bust its hiding spot. Leave the Sudowoodo alone, old lady. It just wants peace on this island. Probably has so many trainers trying to catch it since it's rare. It's cool that you can get one here. I like that. Oh no, are they gambling? I think these are gamblers. They're all betting. Alright, there's a gambling... There's a gambling operation happening on this island. Let's take a look in here. I think we've looked around enough. Seems like each building has its own music. Wait, you lose items if you lose here? You see the same thing, no matter what I ask about. Scam. Hoax. Fake. We're not gonna... You know, we're just walking right out of that place. If someone's gonna just spout a bunch of hogwash, we're done. We don't need that. What's over here? Jeez, this place is huge. Nope. But I saw someone with Skitty <clears throat> who travels with way too many of them by ship. And he might make a stop here sometime to trade one of his many Skitty for that thing. Hey, Scott. Look, I found your house, Scott. Well, hello and welcome. Haha. <laughs> Sorry about the cramped space. Anyway, Booger, let me formally welcome you to the battle frontier. This is my dream come true. It took me years and years, but I've finally given shape to my dream. On reflection, it was a terribly long journey. I left home alone on a quest to find strong trainers. No one can imagine how much effort or time it took to make this real. But that's all in the past. No point dwelling on that. All I want for you is to enjoy battling to your heart's content here. Uga, I want you to have this as a memento for all of our time. All the time our paths crossed on our journeys. You mean all the times you successfully tracked Booger down in your attempts to stalk her? You can check your battle points on your frontier pass. The more success you have here at the battle frontier, the more battle points you will collect. Use your battle points the way you see fit, like trading them for items. We already figured that out. Hmm. Oh, really? Oh gosh, what pathetic people. Look at this guy, he's sick of it. Oh, never mind, he's one of them. He was just jealous of the idol. He wants to, he wants to cheer for the idol and be the only fan. Hmm. 
invincible superstar. Yeah, right. Hmm. Or it could have been Rayquaza. I wouldn't count on it being cute. Unless you find Rayquaza cute. No thanks. Nope. Don't need it. We already dominated the Pokemon League. We're good. Bunch of old people on this island. Reflecting about their past with rose-tinted glasses. Live in the now. Nope. Whatever, dude. Depressing old people. <laughs> Depressing old people on this island. Hmm. Scott stalks the tough trainers and makes sure they find this place. That is disappointing. Makes you wonder what happened to the wild water Pokemon here. There should be some. Who, who eliminated them? Who cleansed the waters of the wild Pokemon? Or what? Well, I think we've talked to about everybody. Kind of want to try participating in just one of these. Listen to this music. Let's try it. Let's just try one. Um, let's do level 50, I think. Actually, maybe open level? Open level, I think. We will use... A mix here. Let's go. Hmm. Wanna have Bake Snake? Wanna have Helican? And whacked us. Sure. Let's see what one of these facilities is about. We have to try taking on at least one. This music reminds me of something that I'd find in Final Fantasy VII in Midgar. Or something. Opponent? Average potential. This is interesting. Clefairy, Dratini, and A-Bomb? Sometimes, sometimes that's a rare move. 
This is interesting. Look at this. We're in a huge tournament. And this is just one facility? wonder what rest does. Well, let's start. So we only get two. I'll put Helganen and Wactus. Look at this place. It's like a stadium. Here I come feeling ready for it all. What? Is that the trainer I'm fighting talking? Who says that? Weirdo Arthur. Level 60? Why is his level 60? Is this later to do it being open level? Oh, take that. Eight bomb ice cube. Very nice. Now surf the ice cube away. Your eight bomb is now an iceberg. In a sea of helicans making. Float away, little eight bomb iceberg. Little eight bomb ice cube. Oh, perfect. Ice beam. Is all I need for here? This fight. I'm not worried about that. Even if you outlevel us, not worried. Why are you talking in all caps? That was not what I need. Are you a robot? Is Arthur a robot? That wasn't too hard. Oh, we get restored in between fights. That's nice. All right. Onward. Hmm. Top class potentially. Hang on, what do you have? A lot of water types. they'll be 62. Maybe they're level 60 because my Pokemon are a little above level 50, so they get rounded up to the next multiple of 10. You're not perfect. I'm a little worried about facing hard level 60 Pokemon like at the end of the tournament, but we'll see what happens. Focus Pokemon are pretty strong. Wactus has a very hard to defeat strategy with Sandstorm if needed. What? What kind of obscure berry is that? Where do you get that? Then you use a physical move. What an imbecile. Maybe my Pokemon will level up a little and get closer to 60. <laughs> Wait a minute. No experience, I'm just noticing. There's no experience gain. Why not? I don't like that. I would rather get some experience. Oh well.
Brick break? How do you have a move like that? Oh well. Next Pokemon. I find it less than an ideal that, um... I don't get experience for any of my kills. That's not really fair. Like, especially if they're level 60. Let us level up a little bit. Our fate in this tournament is probably going to rely on what sort of opponents we're up against. If we have good matchups, we might stand a chance. If we have bad matchups, though, I'm guessing that level discrepancy is going to do us in. Two down. So we're fighting in. All right. Who's this person? A picnicker. Well, how convenient that I have Wactus with us. You know, Wactus who doesn't like campers or picnickers, which are their female variant. Candidate to finish first. Rock bug, steel rock, and electric. I like a grass type in this matchup. Hang on. Let me just look at these Pokemon one more time. Anorith, Aeron, Elekid. Okay. Oops. Enough. We're ready. Probably should have brought Revenge. Too late now, though. Luckily these opponents are pretty weak so far, not very far evolved. Well, it's lame that I would don't, you know, it's lame we don't get experience, but on the plus side, I like the stadium atmosphere, the tournament atmosphere, that's cool. And I like that I get to use my own Pokemon. It's actually good enough because, you know, even if you were, like, if you were level 100, if you were level 100, then you wouldn't gain any more experience anyway, and then you wouldn't even notice not getting experience. So it's not the end of the world. Maybe, maybe it's designed this way so that you can keep your Pokemon within specific level brackets, since you have the options for different level uh, groupings for your challenges. Oh, that would have really hurt. Bug type move. Hopefully they keep missing. Can I use items? Oh, can't use items. No items challenge. Wow, that hurt. Is this the end? Now there's a sandstorm going on that's not going to help Pelican. Well, damn. I don't feel too bad because we are not being given a fair fight with the uh, level discrepancy. Maybe we should have chose level 50. That's going to hurt. I think it's over. Yep. Oh well. At least we got to see kind of what a tournament's all about. 
Hopefully next time we enter we can like, I don't know, go for the level 50 class and use like only Pokemon up to level 50. I have three of those. She won with Pokemon that outleveled mine by a lot, so she shouldn't feel special. No. It's a loss. Why would I record it? Who gives a shit? Well... Jeez. That took a little longer than I expected. I think we're truly done, though. We're done with the Emerald version now. At least I'm done recording it. It's cool that there's lots of stuff to explore on, in the Battle Frontier. And maybe I'll do that. But I'll probably do it in my own privacy on my own time and not record it. Even without this place, I was already quite happy with all the additional things Emerald had to offer. So, I'll just gaze out to sea. Save game. Emerald version. An awesome Pokemon game. This is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon games ever now. This competes with red and blue version for me now. Sapphire, I didn't quite like enough to compete with those two, but Emerald, it does just enough to really improve the game. Well, hope someone out there may enjoy seeing this bonus episode. Seeing what's inside the ship. Checking out the Battle Frontier a little bit. I've had a lot of fun recording Pokemon Emerald, and this is the end. The end on recording, at least. I'll explore this game more in my own time. See you later, and thanks to anybody who watched. I don't think I looked up here. Whoa, what is this? Look at this. It's amazing. I love it. Bake Snake loves it. Someone here has the good taste to honor a Viper, one of the coolest Pokemon in this game, with this excellent monument. Bake Snake is very happy to see this. It feels flattered. That's so cool.